Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we are going to look into this hoop earring with the bumpy texture. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we start our tutorial today, I would like to invite you to join the membership program if you haven't joined yet. The membership program offers a lot of uh, extra video that only member can see. It is also the way to support me keep providing free video for you here and support many people wanted to learn jewelry design all over the world. To start this earring, we want to know what is the uh, interior size that you want. You can make it bigger or smaller. Here I'm going to use the diameter for 10 to draw this circle. Once we have that, we want to draw an overall shape. I'm coming into the right view and using the arc tool, draw an arc here, roughly about this size. If this is too tall for you, you can kind of bring it down a little bit because we're going to add up the thickness on top of it. That means also scale it down a little bit 1D. And for what I like to do, I'm going to use the rotate. Make sure copy equal yes on the command bar. Let's stay, uh, click the center for zero. And we want to copy one here and the other one over there. The reason I'm doing that is because I do want to have my hoop earring have a different width. So on this one, I'm going to make them a little bit wider. And the one on the opposite side is actually make it thinner. So now I have them, I'm going to use the command offset curve and that is decided how thick you want this to be. So on the base, I want them to be 0.8 millimeter. I'm going to do that for all three of them. So they will be the same thickness. All I need to do now is close the gap in between on them so we can join them and become a close curve on all of them. And this will be the base of the hoop earring. Let's go ahead to select all of them and join them. Now, if we are going to creating the surface, we, in this case, we're going to use a sweep one rail. We pick up the uh, rail here, which is the circle, and we are going to pick it up all profile. Make sure that they all align. So I'm going to move this inside. So then that will be the shape. You can also record a history before you click OK. If you don't like the shape, you can click on the profile, which is the curve that we had. And you can kind of tweak it a little bit until you find a shape that you like. So if this is what you like, we are going to use that as a reference. Let's use create UV curve. And we're going to click on this surface. And that gives us a boundary of the outer surface is going to be. And we can design our pattern right here. I simply just want to do a bumpy texture on it. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here. And let me select that curve and divide it with the divide command for 10 segments. So I will have each segment about this big. Then I can come in over here, use the art command one more time. And we're going to uh, snap. We are going to snap here and here, going up, holding the shift. So then you will get this arc here. To save your time later, you can draw another curve from this point to this point. So let's go ahead to join this curve. They will become the closed curve. Then we want to draw another straight line coming over here, holding the shift, so intersection to this side of the H. And creating the surface, we can use a sweep one rail. This is the rail, this is the cross section, and you will get something like that. So if that look the right size to you, just go ahead to use the cap command, then you can close that. All right, so we need to make a bunch of them. You can simply just keep copy it. Uh, so copy pass will be one way to do it or use the copy command. But I also like to show you this is the linear array. We are going to array uh, this guy from the point uh, for 10 of them. And we want to array from this endpoint to this endpoint. So we can do 10 of them at once. So once they are there, we are going to 
flow those shape back. So to having a reference, we need to have a surface. With this original curve, we are going to do a surface from planar curve command to fill it up. So then you will have a surface on the bottom. Let's go ahead to pick up all of them. Make sure you don't want to pick up the surface. You want to just pick up the polished surface on the top. We're going to use a command that's called flow along surface. And we are going to pick up the base surface right here at this corner. On the target surface, we are going to pick up at this place. We will get this one bumpy. As you can see that it's stretching in the middle and it's contracted on the side. And that is because it's follow the curvature we have on this circle. Okay, so take a look and see if this is what you want. If you do like it, make sure the base shape is still an open polished surface. We want to use the cap command to close it and you will uh, break the history, but that's fine because we are no longer want to change it. All you need to do is put a pulse there and just a reminder for industry standard, the pulse is usually about 10 millimeter to 11 millimeter and it's in 20 gauge in diameter. Anything thicker than that might stretch the ear hole and that may not uh, feel comfortable for your customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you really like it and want to support it but not ready to join the membership yet please click on the applaud button under the video that will donate two dollar to my program i thank you for your support and see you next